Hello students, let us start our discussion with primary meristem. Primary meristem. The primary meristem is the meristem which is directly derived from the embryo. It is directly derived from the embryo. This type of meristem, that is the primary meristem, is responsible for the it is responsible for the it is responsible for the primary growth of the plant. Now coming on to the second type of meristem, that is the Secondary meristem. Secondary meristem is the type of meristem which is formed from the it is formed due to the it is formed due to the de-differentiation of the permanent tissue. It is formed due to the de-differentiation of the permanent tissue. And this type of tissue is responsible for it is responsible for the secondary growth of the plant. Now what happens is basically directly from the embryo primary meristem is formed And from this primary meristem forms the permanent tissue. And from this permanent tissue, there is formation of secondary meristem. Now what happens in this process is, the formation of the permanent tissue from the primary meristem is called as differentiation. And as a result of the permanent tissue, the secondary meristem is formed and the process is called as de-differentiation. This classification of the primary and the secondary meristem was on the basis of the classification of the meristem on the basis of on the basis of position. On the basis of position, it is of three types as we have discussed. Now let us discuss it one by one. First is the apical meristem. This type of meristem apical, the word apical means apex. So it is present on the apex of present on the apex of root and shoot tip. Responsible for the growth and the type of apical meristem, it is a type of it is a type of primary meristem. It is present on the apex of the root and the shoot tip, responsible for the growth and elongation, and it is a type of primary meristem. Now coming on to the second type, that is the Intercalary meristem. Present at the present at the node and the present at the node and the interlobe. It is also a type of primary meristem and it is responsible for length of the leaf next is next point is that it is also a type of primary meristem it is also a type of primary meristem but a special point is that it is derived from it is derived from the apical meristem now the third type of the meristem is the third type is the Lateral meristem. This lateral meristem is present along the
present along the longitudinal section of the plant. Responsible for the increase in responsible for the increase in the thickness of the plant and it is the type of secondary meristem. Now if we draw a rough diagram of the location then at the apex of the plant is present which is called as the apical meristem. On the nodes and the internode region is present what is called as the intercalary meristem. And the meristem which is present along the longitudinal section of the plant is referred to as the lateral meristem. These are the different types of meristem which is based on the basis of location in the plant. Now, in the next class, we will discuss about, now let us continue our discussion of the permanent tissue. Permanent tissue are those plant tissue which tissue which have lost its capacity to divide. They are referred to as the permanent tissue. The permanent tissue is basically of two types, simple as well as complex. The simple is further divided into two types, protective and supportive. And the complex is divided into two types, that is the xylem and phloem. Now let us first discuss about the simple protective permanent tissue. The basic function of the tissue is protection. It is of two types, epidermis and cortex. Coming on to epidermis, this epidermis, it is the outermost layer of the plant tissue. Main function is protection. Main function is protection and and prevention from desiccation and wilting. This epidermis is interrupted by small pores on the leaf called as stomata. Now what is the function of the stomata? Stomata are small present between two guard cells. The function of the stomata is the exchange of gases. These are the guard cells and this opening is called as the stomata. Sometimes the leaf is covered by a waxy coating of cuticle and thus prevents transpiration. 
this is all about the epidermis now coming on to cortex it is also the outermost part of the stem and it is dead main function is again protection and prevention from infection and desiccation the important part part of the cortex is that it is of great commercial value it is of great commercial value and is exported used to make sports goods used in making shop food flows this is all for today in the next class we will discuss about the supportive simple permanent tissue thank you